Okay. So we are during the abundance hour and chatting about what abundance means to you and what it looks like, what it sounds like, what it smells like, like when there's so much overflow in different areas of your life, like what does that even mean? And I'm curious what that means to you. What does abundance mean to you? What does it look like? Who would like to start? Well, when you said, what does it smell like? The first thing that came to mind was chocolate. But um, that's an interesting thought. And I, I love that you bring this up. I think for me, I might have like too limited of a view of what abundance is. Like that I'm not seeing the smaller areas in my life where I am abundant um, because I focus mostly on abundance of business and income that I don't necessarily see abundance of support or community or um, love. And, um, and so I've been practicing recognizing that and, and honoring that so that I can bring in more abundance in the areas where I am not seeing it. Mm. Mm, I love that. Looking at those different areas of your life and looking for the gifts and where there's surplus and where there's extra. And then the areas where there may not be so much or where you want it to be at this particular time, that's great. Can that feed into different places? And how does that feel? Love yeah. That. And I, I was even thinking this morning about how there was this lady that was walking with her grocery bags on the street. And I was like, dude, if I had to walk to Target and walk home with what I bought at Target, that would not happen. And I was so grateful for my car, you know? And, and it's like, it's like moments like that where I'm, I'm reminded of that I have a car. And it's a car that fits my entire family and, um, and gets me around and, um, is basically in good condition and, um, and stuff because like, there'd be no way, I mean, I'm in my car, like, well, I'm in my car every day, but like, I use my car for work too. And, um, you know, so there's just like, it's, 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 I don't like, I, I want to be more grateful for the things that I have that I take for granted that I have, because I think, oh, well, you know, most people have a house, most people have a car, you know, but cause I have a tendency to look at all of the stuff about my house that I don't like or that it's not mine. And so I can't change things that I would like to change uh, um, or that the rent continues to go up or, um, you know, <clears throat> that I only have one car. And so that's annoying, you know, but not everybody has a house. Not everybody has a car. And, um, and especially I have a big house, you know, I need a big house but I have a big house and it's, you know, it's pretty nice. Even it was built in the seventies. So, but it, you know, it functions pretty well, you know? So like getting more in that gratitude, you know, mindset of those things that we, we can tend to take for granted because we think, well, you know, most people have a house but there's people who don't. Mm. Absolutely. As soon as I saw you pop off mute. Yeah. I was just thinking of, um, like what, what it looks like, like what it tangibly looks like, like what does abundance tangibly look like, you know? And like, maybe it's that 
you, you have an abundance of kids, like your house is full, you know, and thinking of like the grandkids to come or, you know, like not too soon, like way, way, way later. Um, but just that, you know, thinking of like, when I thought of abundance, I pictured clouds. I shared this before, um, but I pictured clouds and I'm like, what in the world? The first thought that came to my mind was I was judging the clouds. I was like, Ooh, clouds are fluffy. That's awesome. And then I was like, no, clouds are soft to land clouds protect around you. Like that's what I felt from it. So I'm like, okay, abundance is protection around me and a soft place to land. And like, I am abundant when I'm protected. I love that. And I wish we could keep going, but we are at the top of the hour. So I'm going to stop recording.